but mostly I want to bring awareness to the fact that we can get high value um, results for low impact using these techniques, kind of regardless of the, the tool set that you choose to implement it. Look, there's, you know, we acknowledge there's some risk associated with doing any kind of active assessment technique. You're introducing something new into that control system environment. Um, so why not just use some other kinds of methods, offline methods, totally passive methods. If, if you're relying on documentation review, how many uh, folks have ever been in an environment that has perfect documentation? Uh, you know, we, we often come into the situation where we're given an as-built diagram of this network, and very quickly we discover, well, what about this whole other network that's attached and all of these other devices? So um, really getting to these online methods is, is critical in getting to that ground truth level that's going to help us understand where we're really at that with credentialed scanning, what's happening is we're using built-in functions within the remote operating system for us to make a connection and then use built-in calls within that operating system to pull back that information. You also can pull you know, full, thing, you know, full information like software inventory. Uh, very helpful in establishing that asset baseline and understanding vulnerability. And you can you know, do patch auditing where you can look at not just OS patches, you know, that maybe you would find... Uh, on a vulnerability scan that was not credentialed but you know you're not going to get the full list that you're going to see in this credentialed scanning in addition to that you're going to see application level patches even for local or host based applications that aren't on a network listening port you know sometimes uh, you end up in a situation for whatever reason where you can't bring in any of the tools that we've talked about whether it's the the IT security tool the vulnerability scanner uh, or even the ICS, you know, product security tool, you're not able to bring those in. Uh, and I, I find myself on assessments, you know, as a, as a sort of independent third party conducting these uh, pretty often where, you know, that ends up being the case. So one of the things we can do there is look to native OS commands. You know, value um, goes beyond just patches. Obviously, you can find information about network configuration. You can identify if a system is multi-homed, for example. Um, you know, really get into depth about ports and services, user accounts and things like that. Really, any of the information that you could get from credentialed auditing, you can likely get from the command line of a Windows or Linux operating system. And so the example that you see up here is just a, a simple, you know, query coming from uh, an Ethernet IP um, protocol. And you can see, you know, you get some basic information, including information about uh, version of the device, uh, firmware versions and things like that. But what you're going to find is it's tough to go directly from the, the scoring that the tool gives you to actionable uh, intelligence about really what, what you should be doing and how you should prioritize your, your efforts.